so I'm gonna give you right I want to just help you guys right with some you know manifestation tactics right so basically this is something right that is less you know like people they don't really know how to put it in ways right but i see a, a couple of videos right? they try to explain you know this kind of concept that I'm, I'm getting ready to put you on right so basically how it goes right is you know you know how you have like problems right that you know how you've had problems that you thought you couldn't solve right and then somehow you were able to solve them you know oh let me put it this way let me say you have a car right and your car needs some fixing you know so people always tell you like you should fix your brakes you should fix your car this and that right but you know that you want to fix it right and you you always imagine yourself right even when you get in the car you imagine your car being 100% efficient right being working as it's supposed to be right okay boom So what happens is that in the case that your car is not well, right? People will say, okay, or even you yourself, you will say, okay, I need to fix this car, I need to fix this car, right? And you put pressure on yourself, right? Okay, boom. But the solution. And I'm going to be honest, right? This is where I learned this concept, right? That uh, E.O. Elmas... I don't know what's the channel, right? But uh, that guy, his grandfather, right? He, he used to upload some videos of his grandfather, right? And... Uh, the concept itself, right? That uh, his grandfather, he didn't look at it as a concept, perhaps, right? But for him, it was just a natural, it was just second nature, you know? It was just something that he knows that it works. You understand? So, he made an example with a, Things that were broken in his house, right? He would always have people tell him that, you know, you need to fix this, you need to fix that, right? And it also, and it always declined, right? Even when people try to forcefully do it, especially when people try to forcefully do it for you, right? So, what happened is that at some point, because he was just naturally imagining it right that okay this house i need to fix this and that and uh, people they always ask me why don't i buy new couches and that right naturally you would imagine buying couches as you look at your couch and it's broken right oh as you're looking at your car and it's broken and you need to use it you would naturally imagine yourself fixing it right so that's why these guys that try to teach these concepts right they always say you must imagine things right and then they will happen but that's that's not even the step the first step right the first step is the assumption right but the assumption that is what subconscious you know, that has no resistance right 
like how you did naturally imagine fixing a problem, right? Because some people, you know, when they have problems, right, they can only imagine more problems, right? But once you train yourself enough, or you go through some, you know, experiences that can teach you that, right? Then you will be able to easily imagine yourself fixing your problems. It's like it's gonna be second nature, right? When you have a problem, you already see the solution right then and there, right? So, just to double back a little bit, right? Because right now I'm already far. I'm gonna say this basically. When you have a problem, naturally your mind is designed if it's working properly when you have a problem your mind is like when you hear lyrics right to a, to a song you're gonna naturally wa want to add on right when you hear a song in your mind you're gonna naturally want to add on the lyrics right so even with problems it's just like that when you have a problem, your mind is looking at the problem like it's a gap, you see. So, a question mark. All it needs is what? Your focus, right? And then, the solution will reveal itself, right? Just like those lyrics, you see, just like how you hear a song and then your mind naturally plays out the lyrics before you they even you know if before you even hear them on the radio right your mind already knows that okay this song is gonna say da 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 right so even with a problem it already knows how to solve that problem right so now what we do is we confuse it, right? And then we think about more problems. So your mind, while it's trying to fix one problem, right? Now it's concentrating on more problems, right? But what you want is your mind to be solution focused, right? And then once you reach that level, any problem that you have, right, is gonna be like a gap, you understand? Of lyrics that just needs to be filled, you understand? And then what you do is, in, in case of, if it's something that you have to take action towards, right? Then that's what you will naturally do, right? And it won't, it's gonna be effortless because you already see it. You, you know what I'm saying? So, so back to that concept, right? Just simplify it. This is, this is how it looks like, right? When you have a problem, right, any kind of problem, your mind naturally knows how to solve it. But not only your mind, another person's mind knows how to solve a problem. So you see, that's where now you will hear people talk about the law of attraction, right? Where you start to see these people, oh, go to these places. Or use these things right and they lead you to the solutions that you want or desire you understand so you know this is this is like uh, one of those things that you need to have experience you know, to actually understand right or some somewhat you, you must be spiritually inclined you understand but like You should understand that 
the mind, right? The overall mind, the bigger mind, it works like this. It's always correcting errors. You understand? So what you see as a problem in your life is an error, right? And then that mind, when you tune with it, right? And you don't think about more problems, then you can see how, like, you won't even be in a position to observe it, right? But what's going to happen is that it's going to, like, every problem solves itself. Just to put it in the screen. But, like, I'm trying to give you a bigger screen, right? So that you can take this concept and put it in any circumstance of your life, right? Because I myself personally, yesterday, I saw it working for me, right? I've had a problem with one thing, right? For long. And then, just when I started to focus and concentrate on fixing it, right? I didn't even lift the finger. Right? I didn't even lift the finger. Somebody just happened to come by my house and then we had a little conversation, right? And then they said, you know what, this thing that you need, I have, you understand? And they gave it to me for free, right? Whilst I was waking all along, planning to, you know, gather up some money, right, to fix this problem. This person comes in a span of two hours, that problem was solved, right? That lifelong, that lifelong, so let me say for you, it could be your house, right? Your house is buggered up, you know, it's messed up. You don't know where to start, right? Here's my advice. Don't even do anything, right? Just know that, okay, or just accept, right, that, okay, I'm going to fix this house. You can even say to yourself, you know, when I have money, I'm going to fix this house, right? And you have to fully commit, right? You have to make it, like, you see how a laser works, right? A laser will focus on one thing for quite a long time and then after it burns right then you can move to another space right so you have to focus on that thing on that on the things that you want to fix specifically you understand and how you would want to fix them in your house maybe your ceiling is leaking right you just think okay if i had the money i would buy what you know this and this and that right and or like if i were to start i would start here right maybe i would start in the kitchen right so as you imagine right and you just from a point of full commitment right what's gonna happen is that something is just gonna show up right you might get a call, you know, that's going to take you out of your normal routine, right? And then w once you follow that call, right, you find yourself in a position whereby the thing that you, or the people, or you meet somebody, right, and then they tell you, okay, you know, I'm looking for a place to stay, right, boom. And also... I'm a builder, I'm this and that, or I have a construction company, you see, like, you know, there's a lot of infinite circumstances, right, that it can play out, but the concept is, when you have a problem, just vow, right, to never solve it because you know what 
I don't want to lie to you, right? Most of these things are secret, you understand? And the reason they are secret is because once it works for you, right? The moment it works for you, you don't really know how to explain it to other people, you understand? Who haven't experienced what you experience, you understand? So, me, I'm just trying my best to like put it in words, you know, that because we are living in animal bodies, right? But I know spiritually you understand. But if you had to use this animal mind, right, you won't be able to understand. But like, if you can just vow to never lose, like for example, I'm just gonna give you the last example, right? You know how uh, that uh, what you call experiment, right? By Neville, right? Where he says you must write on pieces of papers, right? That you know, I will not climb the the ladder, right? I will not climb the ladder, right? You write everywhere. I mean, you paste those pieces of uh, thing everywhere, right? Where you can, you know, where you normally look. Maybe like in your study, study, uh, what you call it? Study table, you put him there, right? I will not climb the ladder. Every time where you look, you, you see, I will not climb the ladder. And then, over time, once that thing goes inside your mind, you will find yourself somehow climbing a ladder. You understand? But you've been affirming that you will not climb the ladder. So it's kind of like the same thing. When you have a problem, any kind of problem, just vow to never solve it, right? But like this thing, you have to psych yourself up. You have to think two opposing thoughts, right? You have to tell yourself, okay, bro, I will never solve this problem, right? If it causes me more than I can afford, right? It causes peace and all that, right? Then you know what? I will never fix this thing. Boom, right? So you are basically detaching from it, right? But at the same time, you keep in your heart. So you keep what in your, in your head. You tell yourself, okay, I will not fix this thing, right? But in your heart, you tell yourself, you know what? I want to fix it. You understand? So that's how you attract the solution to you. You understand? You have to psych yourself in a way, right? So that you don't feel bad, because that's what it boils down to. You must not feel bad, right, about anything in general, you know. So, because once you feel bad, then you are pulling from a different source, you understand what I mean? But like, that's the solution right there. Don't fix your problems. Leave them alone. They will fix themselves. You understand? When you have a problem, just know that the problem is married to its solution. You understand? So when you have a problem, just look at the problem. And then look at the wife. Right? Which is the solution. Don't, don't just look at the problem. Look at the problem and then look at the solution. And then never look at the problem again. You understand? Once the solution is there, like for example, in a case that you have a house, right, and it needs to be fixed, somebody brings you a couch, that's the solution right there. Then say, ah, I told you I don't want to fix this couch, you understand? No, you have to understand. It's a solution, so you have to accept it. Otherwise, you're going to self-sabotage, you understand? And then you get to a position whereby now you think that everything is working against you, right? But you forgot that you've been denying the help that's always been there for you. You understand? So, I mean, I went 20 minutes trying to explain this one simple thing, right? When you have a problem, don't, don't solve it. Let it solve itself. Because every problem 
it has a solution, you understand? Every problem brings with it a solution. When you die, the solution, you get buried. Right? That's the solution. So you don't have to worry about that. Right? But in case of, you know, daily life, right? Daily living. When you have a problem, the solution, you can actually see it also. Because you are not there, right? And then, all you have to do is follow the solution, right? Once you see it, follow it, right? But uh, the foundation is... to detach, you understand? You know you want to do this, but you want to detach, right? Just so that you don't feel bad if it doesn't go your way, you understand? Because what's going to happen is that when you feel good, it's going to work out always. You understand what I mean? When you feel good, it's going to always work out. You know? So, that's it right there, G.